This is the Harwell Decatron computer. It is the oldest working example of a first-generation computer anywhere in the world. In 1949, the Atomic Energy Research Establishment at Harwell needed to improve the efficiency, accuracy and reliability of its calculations. By 1951, the Harwell Decatron was complete. Although it looks archaic, the Harwell Decatron has all the main functions that can be found in a modern computer. It has input, output, a processor and memory. Modern computers are programmed using languages, but the Decatron is programmed in pure machine code. Instructions are fed in using a numeric keypad or punched paper tape. The Harwell Decatron was designed before transistors were available, so its processor is made up of valves and relays. 827 individual Decatron tubes are used to hold data and program instructions. Each Decatron tube can store a decimal number between 0 and 9. Rather than show the results on a screen, the Harwell Decatron would either print them or punch holes in paper tape. In 1957, transistorization made the Harwell Decatron obsolete. The Atomic Energy Research Establishment launched a competition to give away their machine. The competition was won by Wolverhampton and Staffordshire College of Technology, who renamed it The Witch. This stood for the Wolverhampton Instrument for Teaching Computation from Harwell. The college used the witch for 16 years between 1957 and 1973. The witch helped teach scores of students about computing. In 1973, it took another journey to the Birmingham Museum of Science and Industry, where it was on display for many years. By 1983, the witch was no longer working. The artist John Yeadon painted the computer when it was out of use and called his composition Portrait of a Dead Witch. The painting is now on display in the Jam Street Cafe in Manchester. In 2009, the Harwell Decatron was brought to the National Museum of Computing to be restored to working order. In 2014, it was recognised by Guinness World Records as the world's oldest working original computer.